This is a photograph of the town of Gozu, as it was many years ago. Although the picture uh, does not date from 1906, the inn that I have circled, uh, and which is where the place where Picasso stayed, is probably very much as it was in 1906. The Fonda, or what would be called in English uh, sort of an inn, was called Cal Tampanada, and it belonged to a man called Josep Font de Villa. Picasso drew Josep insistently because he was fascinated by the face of this man. Uh, he was obviously a farmer and uh, so his face showed the hardness of the land and he had to plow the earth and you know, being always under the sun, etc. And so that fascinated Picasso and that's why he drew him so insistently. And next to him there was Fernanda, his beautiful uh, French girlfriend, that it took him a long time to, you know, to seduce because Fernanda wasn't interested in him at all. But eventually I suppose partly because of his charming personality and partly because Picasso was by then a very successful artist. So she came here with him and the villagers reacted to this very sophisticated woman from Paris uh, in a very uh, <laughs> particular way because women in the town obviously didn't have such sophistication and they all had to work the land and therefore it was very difficult to compete with such a, a particular beauty and Fernanda certainly used and abused her charm well charm I'm not really sure she had that much but certainly her beauty and she was like a goddess sort of walking around the town you can see in the video that follows how Gozu is today. I will take you for a little tour. And uh, I, will I will take you around the village. I mean, the, the square is still the same, but instead of this beautiful uh, street light that was there at the time, uh, at the moment there is a, a sculpture which is inspired in a famous painting that Picasso did here in Gozu, one of the most well-known ones. And I'll tell you in a minute a little bit more about the sculpture. And uh, the village is very beautiful. Uh, most of the houses have been restored. Some of it is kept, you know, the... the shutters and the doors as they were before. The whole village is breathed health. As you walk around, you really feel the cleanness of the air, you know, and the, 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 the power of those mountains that surrounds the village. And in here we see the rector, who lives in this very comfortable house, very beautiful house, you know. He's got the most extraordinary view in front of his windows and that, you know, he was actually going back home as I was actually filming this. This is the sculpture that I mentioned earlier. Uh, it was inspired on the painting that Picasso did here in Gozul. 1906 called La Donna dels Pans, uh, the woman of the bread. And uh, apparently there was a sculptor called Josep Ricard Garriga who made this sculpture inspired in the painting of Picasso. Uh, you can see that the sculpture is in the place of the street light that was there before. And I actually talked to a villager and she said that, yes, that that, that was so. 
And you can see several shots, and you can hear the sound of the, the water. And the square is very much as it was, the only thing that changes is the actual sculpture. And obviously the houses are now modern and in very good condition, not as they were in 1906. A few more shots of this beautiful landscape with the Sierra del Cadí at the end, the Serra del Cadí at the end, and the Pedra Forca, which is the most extraordinary mountain, as you can see in here. Uh, then uh, we also went up a little hill to uh, the village as it was before. So apparently it was actually uh, placed further up and then for whatever reason it was actually moved down and the village on the top bit was actually left abandoned. Uh, there is still a castle with a cemetery which I filmed, I took a few few pictures from there. You can see them in here. I popped into the cemetery, the door was open, you only had to move the handle. It was obviously left open for people to come in and leave flowers to uh, their, their dead. And then we walked up this extraordinary metal staircase that was built inside the main tower. I'm afraid I haven't got a photograph of it, but it was a very, very beautiful. And uh, it occupied all the space inside the tower. But once you went up to the top, it was actually, if you had vertigo, it was a little bit spooky, although it was very well protected, yeah? But you could see through the little holes as you were walking up. And so once uh, we got at the top, we, we got to the top, it was extraordinary. The view was like, absolutely extraordinary. And truly, I mean, I can't imagine this landscape being any different than it was in 1906 when Picasso was here. So he walked around this place uh, at ease because he had money. He, you know, he had his beautiful girlfriend with him that it took him so long to seduce and uh, and so he was drawing the villages and the villages loved him and so everything was fine but then uh, the hotel owner's little daughter got typhoid and Picasso was a real hypochondriac and therefore he was scared stiff of the virus and he decided to leave but, you know, I imagine Picasso looking down, I mean, at the time I doubt very much if the staircase was there, but, you know, even if you couldn't walk up the top of the castle, the view is absolutely extraordinary. The sense of space, the greenery, the, the selection of greens and ochres. And then there is this uh, particular type of red stone that you can you encounter as you drive away from the village so you know i mean looking at all these i sort of almost dare to say that i can imagine what picasso felt by being here and why it was so important this kind of freedom you know that the landscape gives you the mountains at the at the, at the bottom the light you know it must have been extraordinary truly extraordinary and no wonder that after being here for a while he managed to actually decipher the the puzzle of cubism that had been cooking in his head for so long anyway so it was really really haunting and i will end this commentary with this picture of a tree growing on top of the tower uh, my friend Marcel, who is the, my companion in these little adventures around Catalonia or even Spain, we embark in these excursions which are a little bit Kafkian because you know, we drive an enormous amount of kilometers in very little time trying to meet particular targets. The, the tree, uh, according to Marcel, who is a real expert in trees, is going to grow and so of course we're talking about very many years but you know time goes by fast 
And when this tree will become a proper tree, what will happen to the tower? Will it collapse? I don't know, it's all very fascinating. Yeah? And the images which I have chosen to show you at the end are the old photographs which are hanging on the walls of the little restaurant where we stayed, the little pensione in Fonda. And the last two photographs are taken from a web page which is called Online Picasso Project, a fantastic web where I often find information that is very relevant. And the web belongs to Professor Dr. Enrique Malen, or Malen, I don't know how to pronounce it. And uh, so his web has been very, very helpful to me. So I just want to say thank you to him as well. That's it. I hope you enjoyed it.